course they start barking Alice? again. Oh, it pisses me off. I need to move. Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. I need to move. The phone Dad's was dead. Is obvious. I'd have to find help on foot. Yeah. It literally just triggers triggers me every time. Among they Alice's never things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. It was I didn't like five like seconds it. ago, man. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Oh. Okay. So let's get down this hill. Let's see uh let's see where we go. Ooh, those are power lines. The gas oh, station man. was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. We've seen a driver, so this is reality, I think. But wouldn't they see the road and realize the telephone pole is down? So is our car. <laughs> you know, that's just great timing. Oh shit. Don't go that way. But yeah, it's like 11 p.m. There's no need for it. Like, I'm tired of living here, bro. Like, teach those fucking dogs or get rid of them. There's no point. Like, sell them. Like, seriously. All you're doing is causing stress for everyone that lives here. Hello? Uh. Hello? Someone there? I mean, it's just empty paper that was next to the typewriter, isn't it? Because the loose sheets of paper yeah. were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Well, that's... Isn't that what just had happened to us earlier? Oh, wait, the page... Excuse me. My bad. The page is, t I'm guessing, telling the story of what's happening right now. Stupid phone. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident! The phone's glitching out. Um... But I'm guessing that the thing is just telling the story of what's gonna technically happen, somewhat. Except you, the except lights you play up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. But we're not gonna read them, mainly because you know that kind of a little bit spoils of what's gonna happen. Why is there just a box like that? All right, no big deal. Just asking. <laughs> What was that? Anybody there? Please. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Nightfall. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation. My phone's so broken. I'm fair. <laughs> It keeps flashing on and off like black oh, screen and black uh, screen. It's really annoying. So is this actually somebody died? Okay, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying not to miss any collectibles. I don't want to miss any, my bad. I just want to clear that. From... Never mind. I thought it would clear away on the bottom, right? But I think it's just time. I mean, it did go away, but I think it's still time. Just want to make sure. Make sure. It's the 
Didn't we already pay? Them? Would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. He's kind of just comparing from other books. He's just like, oh, it's this, it's that. But like, like it's never going to do that. During your trying Hello? Hello? Shit. It's lost. Oh. Oh, it's pushing the whole building. Oh, okay. Now what? Doors are still locked. There we go. I was about to say the doors are still locked. What am I gonna do? Oh. My bad. I pressed the wrong button. With the concussion, I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. All right. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Reload weapon. Let's see what's over here. Make sure there's no water bottle we can pick up real fast. You know, click, click, click. There's a manuscript. Maybe that's it. Might be. I don't know. This is an old uh, tractor. Very, very old. Indeed. All right, let's uh, keep moving. I don't like it over the shoulder to the left, though. I think that's a little, you know, not the greatest, but, uh, you know, it's fine. It's no big deal. It's just, it is a little odd. Unless, you're can, unless you can change. Yep. You can change it, by the way. You just had to press R3. I would have never done that. I just this was like I just decided to and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> when I, I saw like, the river below, something uncoiled it itself inside. It my switches head. back by I itself. I realized though. that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Like if I just run like I don't even know how it happened. It switched back by itself. I just felt weird. Said he didn't want to look at the water. I was just looking down right at the water. All right. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on moving, keep on grooving. I don't think I can pass that. Is it gonna make me? I think so. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's, oh, I keep pressing uh, square for some reason. It's just like the usual button on other games, so it's like, I just do it. I'm like, wait, is that a good idea? Yeah. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking, stalking me. All right. Let's keep on moving. Oh shit! Hi. Takes a while to to do that, low key. Reloading. There we go. Keep on moving. I don't know if there's like, ha like how many uh, like collectibles there are usually per area, obviously, because you know it's impossible to know that. You see that arrow right there? Yeah, that's an arrow. Where do I gotta go though to get that? Uh, woo -woo. there's an arrow with the flashlight. See? But oh, whoa, ladders right here. Was that there? Was that? Is it because I did the the, the light thing with the arrow or, or what? I'm confused. I 
think there's an enemy up here though. Maybe not. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Might need that. Okay, I think that's it. There seems to be no other collectibles there, unfortunately. So we might need that to uh, call on upon uh, anybody to help or whatever. <laughs> oh, my bad. I did some damage, Loki. Not a lot. I, it's like a whole bar, which I guess is considered a lot, but for me personally, not really. Sorry, I keep hitting my mic. Alright, so this is not the way to go. Alright, let's go the other way then. Are we going to use the crane at all? Because that seems like we do. Can I hit the, maybe cut the wire or something? But we don't have a knife, so I don't know how. Yeah, no. The rope, not the wire. <laughs> My bad. Alright. I really hate doing that camera angle thing, because I forget. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Uh, I can't use that either. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. They worked earlier, so I was like, huh? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. I see it, but I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh, he knows. My bad. I pressed the wrong button. Pressing all the wrong buttons possible. Buttons. <laughs> My bad. Did the door just close on me? It did. Good thing it didn't close for good and like lock me in there. With all this forestry equipment around. There had to be something I could use to reach. You just gotta hit that in the green every time, which is pretty easy. It's 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 all right. <sighs> Phone's so fucking broken. I hate it. I got a bad feeling. I don't know what, but I got a bad feeling, Chad. I'm trying to see if there's any other collectibles, but I also shouldn't, cause it's. I just want to keep it you know, playing the game, but I like getting collectibles, obviously, but, you know, trying to not do that as much, either. Oh. Wait. Wait. I can't go any more to the right. Oh, there we go. I about to say, I can't go any more to the right. Excuse me. Alright, let's get up. Let's get her done. Uh, okay, we're good. Just run across. Whee! Dude, I felt like something more was about to happen and nothing happened. I was like, oh. Alrighty then. Alright. Let's just keep on moving, chat. Sorry, I'm moving around. She's just trying to get comfortable. The huge. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like... The forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know I'm 
I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, man. It would keep you hmm. company all night long if I weren't. Call uh, It looks like uh, you're on the, the air. only one staying up late. Call her. You're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured hmm. they'd know if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> well, Maurice, it's All out right. there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Sounds good to me, I guess. So Toby lost his dog. We're probably going to run into his dog now that we listen to that, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. We don't really know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Wait, why get more flare guns? I have two flare guns, technically. Let's just shoot it at the exact same time. Bam, bam, you know? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I said that. But I'm wondering if we'll run into Toby now. Curious. Probably makes sense. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Monster is the best with no curb toast. Monster dog is second Monster best. Dog. The famous dog is. He killed the dog, didn't he? My bad. I fucking hate that. Walk off with you stupid ass. That's right, fucker. One more bullet. Oh, there we go. Damn enemies. There we go. That's what we wanted. Look up. Is there anything that was... Oh, I thought something spawned on the ground for a moment there. Oh, shit. Whole guy... Whole group. But I say whole one guy. Like, what? It does take a long time for that. Let's get back to it. So we gotta find a way. Maybe we go up and around. I'm just gonna ignore them for now, cause I don't know. I feel like they're just gonna keep respawning on me. So, oh fuck. Oh, I heard that last fucking minute. Man, I what I really hate though is the controls. But that's honestly it. Alright, let's just let's just keep it's fine. Just gotta keep on moving. So like can we collect all the manuscripts and what would happen? Like would it change like an ending or I don't know. I guess we'll, well, we're gonna find out regardless. I don't think it will, to be honest with you, but you never know. Sometimes. I don't think it will, though, because it, it doesn't, uh, like, it might have stuff that impacts the story or something, but not really. It's usually the, the, the case with the collectibles. I never touch salad, though. A man like me needs a 
I got a feeling there's a collectible up here because of those. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ow, my back. All this flare gun stuff that I'm, I feel like I'm not going to use often, but let me reload that pistol. There we go. Just had to make sure it was, uh, you know, packed up with bullets and all that. I gotta remember that I can press square to, like, rapidly to, uh, reload faster. Uh, I heard that. Something to my left, I think. Maybe not. Hey, buds. They're fast movement, too. Alright, mate. Alright, one sec, let's hit it in here. Keep pressing the wrong button. Ooh, shotgun. Look at me. I'm gonna keep using the pistol for a little bit. Unless we get into like a boss fight that, you know, we're gonna need. Then, uh, we'll use it right now. Ooh. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Dude, I remember Einstein, watching, uh, singular, princes among men. what was it called? But the price for such a legacy is still Like it sounds... In night springs. It sounds like this. Tonight's like the episode, voices. I can't remember. A quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the I don't like this guy. Institute. Tonight, I agree with Alan Wake about the magazine thing. The many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. The fuck? It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. What does that mean? Anything. It's one bullet. I myself we know how to reload clips. Be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this I reality is always the former. I have just pressed the safety button. Myself, quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's True. an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen. That is true. I definitely believe in that. Is, this and there's like one multiple... Thing did not things happening happen like I would be saying multiple different insane, things right now in a different Colvin. world or like insane. a different time insane. but at the same time you know hey was this thing supposed to be plugged in I stumbled on it you fools gaze upon quantum oh. immortality well how that would how would that work anyway poor poor Dr. Colvin filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. The decaying abused unobserved. Curiosity often. How would that the I mean it wasn't plugged in, so how would that night springs? How would that have worked? A little curious on that one. But okay, that was a that was a cool show, I guess. It was a little you know, but uh that was the weirdest thing to touch. 
something behind me. No. As you might it can be Alright, so am I gonna have to use the shotgun on this guy? Probably. Oh fuck. My bad. Dude, dodging the do okay. What I will say is though, dodging the enemies are not worth doing because half the fucking time you run right into another enemy. <laughs> like it's just not worth it. That that was not fun. All right, all right. Can I use switch camera angles? Uh, all right. I'm a little confused on how, uh... Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. All right. Grab this coffee. Let's keep on moving. I think that's uh, really it. Uh, how does one open this? That's my question. Uh oh, d d dude. Of course, it was right next to it. I'm like, oh, how do I do this? <laughs> it wasn't even hard. Let's get it. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. So we're at the entrance? Okay. Sure After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Ow. Sorry. Uh, shit. Oh, we see that. Let me grab that real fast. Mm, this doesn't seem... The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Not a good sign. Why does it want to keep? Oh, just wants to keep focusing on the same thing. I was like, huh? Look at gas prices. Crazy. It's not that bad. It could be worse. Uh, I could be living in 2022. <laughs> I'm sorry, stupid joke, but it's true. The it garage is. was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. 
Looks more like trash than a fight, to be honest. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. Mm -hmm. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. So does he have the right I this. It'd about... Been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Does he have the right about, like, his wife in order for her to come back? Is that is that it? Because if so, that's interesting. To me. Can I just take the money? Oh, uh, before we use the phone, let me make sure that there's nothing else. Ah, uh, cool. There's nothing in here, bro, except beer. No food, though. Oh, wait. Oh, look, Big Stuffers. Those are literally Cheetos. <laughs> uh, what a name, though, Big Stuffer. There's a receipt, though. Right ball, Sheriff Station. A little curious on this. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. Well, exactly. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. It's a little curious, though, and actually, like, is Stucky dead then, or...? And Stucky owns so many places, doesn't he? A little odd. Just a tiny bit. I'm freezing, by the way. It's so goddamn cold. But he was still giving us keys for a place, so the place doesn't exist in their world. Or in our world, and we just drove there and it did exist. I don't know. I'm a little curious on that, but... Hey, 